Destination Flavor Town. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Nice to have you here. Today's video, I am super, super excited to film because it involves food and we love that. So you guys know I've done on my channel a bunch of different Starbucks videos, trying my subscribers' favorite drinks, trying Starbucks baristas' favorite drinks, letting you guys decide what I order. And I love doing videos like this, just like being surprised with like what you get. But today we are going to be having a restaurant to pick my takeout orders. I'm just gonna be calling up local mom and pop shops and local family owned restaurants and asking them to surprise me with something, give me their favorite thing, give me their most popular thing and getting some good food, hopefully. I am specifically going to local uh, family owned restaurants, like I said, because those are the places that we need to be supporting right now during this time, you know, Chick-fil-A is doing fine. She's thriving. She's doing well. We need to be supporting the family-owned places because they are they're surviving off of takeout orders right now. So I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. So we're gonna get right on into this. The first place we're gonna go to is a donut shop. Of course, we have my my sidekick here, my my um co-worker social distancing <laughs> we have ethan here to film this video with me so yeah let's let's get on into the car let's go because we are both starving you guys and by the way i cut my hair because thank you because quarantine things this is what it has come to ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah yeah are they open oh yes they are that's a nice coffee i know Good. So good. <laughs> ready? Yeah. We just wiped everything down. Now we're ready to dig in. I'm so hungry. Okay, so they were so incredibly nice in there. Like the guy was telling us all about everything, how to order. Like it was service 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Basically, they have like the normal donuts and then they have like where you can customize your own and you get your base, like if you want a circle donut, if you want the bar, the glaze, and then like the toppings on it and you can get like whatever you want. That's like so cool. So this is a Sugarlicious in Pomona. Found them on Yelp. This smells amazing. I need to like dive I right know. into this. He gave us a maple bacon bar on the house. So thank you guys so much. Like probably didn't find this video, but thank you guys so much. This is so cool. I kind of want to start with this one yeah because this is like the complimentary one he was literally making them like in front of us yeah. he was dipping them topping them <gasps> Ready? oh I'm so excited cheers mm, so good. <laughs> are you are you kidding me mm, really good. oh my god the bacon mm -hmm. is so good he put lots of bacon too he hooked it up Y'all, like what? That's the best maple I have ever had. And just like the base of the donut is so light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. These are, I think the like most beautiful donuts I've seen. I'll insert a picture to you guys, but look at these donuts. I'm thinking pretty pebbles. Yeah. Yeah? Bro. Wow. Wow. The strawberry frosting. Okay, these donuts by themselves are really good. <laughs> like fluffy. I could eat just the donut without anything on yeah. it. Like they are the fluffiest, like softest donuts mm. ever. Want another bite? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't even hesitate. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I've never heard anyone talk about this place before. Like I literally just randomly found it on Yelp. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Next we have cookies and cream. So this is vanilla with Oreo cookies on top. Oh, my, the best one, my favorite. Wow. <laughs> I have a whole box of those. The glaze tastes like the inside of an Oreo. So, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Like the inside of an Oreo glaze on a donut with the cookies on top. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. I feel like we shouldn't do the hot Cheetos last. Cause what if I don't like it? Like I don't want to leave off on that note. So I think we should do the Cheetos before. No, I think we should do it last. The Cheetos are gonna have a taste in your mouth. Oh. And it's gonna ruin these. Okay. I am 
super excited for this one. So this is maple glaze with cinnamon toast crunch on top. Oh. I'm gonna take a bite first and then you take no. a bite. <laughs> That's a big bite. <laughs> I'm gonna bite. A bite. That's my favorite. Listen to that crunch, you guys. Mm, wow. Good. That is so good. But I think it's the sweetest one out of all of them. Yeah. Last but not least, I'm trusting them there. If they gave this to us, like, I'm trusting them. That is the best selling one. We got maple glaze with hot Cheetos. Cheetos. Uh, I'm gonna go first. I love how they make them right in front of you so that they're, they're fresh, like they're crunchy. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Yeah? It's a weird combo, but it's really good. Okay. <laughs> that's actually really good. I don't know why. You don't like it? <laughs> Dude, it's like... I get it. Like, I so get it, but I would never. <laughs> I could never. I don't know. That's but I get it. It's like the, it's like the sweet and the salty and like the crunchy and the, it's like the best like combo. Yeah. It's one of those things that, and I've said this before in other videos when like trying stuff, like you just gotta try it, like yeah. see if you like it. It's like a preference type mm -hmm. thing. I think my favorite was that maple bacon. Mine was the Oreo maple bacon, and then third would be fruity pebbles. Fourth would be cinnamon toast crunch, and then the last one would be. I like the maple bacon. Then I'd say, honestly, I gotta give it to the Oreo. Then the cinnamon toast crunch, fruity pebbles, and then hot Cheetos. And our next place was actually recommended by one of you guys. So let me just shout y'all out real quick. So thank you to Haley, Haley Trey. She said, girl, try Lucky's Coffee in Upland. They have strawberry matcha. Gotta try that. Mm-hmm. So excited. She's got five stars. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Well, I thought it was pretty close by, but it's about 15 minutes away, so let's go. I think this is it, you guys. Oh my gosh, do we have front row parking? <laughs> yes, we do. The spring menu right now, the top two are the April Kisses and the Matcha Love. Okay. Let's get a small ice. Do you said the honey cinnamon latte? And then can we get two Matcha Loves, actually? Did you want oat as well? Yeah. That sounds really good. All right, guys, the girl in there was so sweet and so glad that she recommended the matcha love, which is a strawberry matcha, because I really wanted to try it out. I thought it'd be pink. I don't know. So she recommended that, and then she recommended like three different types of lattes. So we chose the first one that she recommended, which was the honey cinnamon latte with oat milk. Looks so good. It looks amazing. And she's like, this is like one of the most popular ones. Like it's so good. So I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's amazing. It's not not too sweet too sweet at all like the coffee is like really shining through right there but like i said again with the cinnamon like i don't know what it is the yeah. cinnamon's just been like i've just been loving it recently yeah amazing i could see myself making a trip over here for this mm -hmm. but the matcha this is what's really what i'm really excited for and look how cute it says matcha love matcha heart plus oat milk <laughs> you try it yeah cheers cheers Oh, that's good. Oh my god. That's really good. Oh my god. That's really good. Oh my gosh, I love it. 10 out of freaking 10. 10 out of 10. I want to know what matcha they use because, like, 
it's really good. That's really good. Oh, it's like the perfect amount of sweetness. Mm -hmm. It's very like natural sweet. It yeah. doesn't taste like sweetener at all. Yeah. So the matcha love is $5. It is sweet matcha, fresh strawberries, and milk mixed with in-house strawberry syrup. Okay, I need to get that strawberry syrup <laughs> recipe because it is amazing. Literally, what a gem. We will be coming back. Probably like way too often. Way too often. But, ooh. All right guys, so we are back at Ethan's house. The lighting is super weird. I'm gonna order dinner right now from literally the best place ever. And that is Charlie's Trio, which is my uncle's restaurant in, well, there's one in South Pasadena, cafe in Alhambra. But today we're gonna be ordering from the OG Charlie's Trio. So if you guys live by there, or if you are visiting in the, in the future, <laughs> probably not right now, but in the future, then um, you guys should check them out. They're also doing um, takeout, of course. That's what we're gonna do today. My um, parents actually have an order, so I'm gonna put in their order and then be like, give me some, give me some extra stuff. Yeah, good idea. And I'm kind of nervous. I don't know <laughs> why. This is making me nervous. And uh, <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> yes. Sure. Hopefully my phone doesn't die, it's on 6%. Alright, what can I get for you? I'm gonna get a medium, um, the special pizza. Oh, okay, yeah. you want the, the medium, the big man special pizza, okay? Yeah, okay, yeah. Can I get a, a dinner size of the pasta pasquale and pasta bread? I want to get two more things, but like I don't know what to get. So can I get like your suggestions or like your favorite things? Like I don't know what it is. I just want to be like a surprise. Okay. Uh, the Southwest pasta is really good. So I'll put that in. Okay. And then you said one more thing. Yeah, one more thing. But I want to be surprised. Um, I want to be surprised. <laughs> just give, just whatever uh, it is. We'll do, we'll do a pizza then. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. He's so nice. That was so good. Mm -hmm. Dude, we got a lot of stuff. Know. Medium pizza, two pastas. You got me an individual, individual pizza, pizza just for me and <laughs> a pasta. I forgot which one he said though, so I wasn't. Southwest. Southwest? We'll see. I don't think I tried that before, but their <laughs> tortellini is. Let's go pick her up. Let's get it, boys and girls. Woohoo! It's just me, family. Pizza? Oh. Some garlic bread. Do, 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 do. Can you, do you have a problem? Ooh, they give me shrimp pesto pizza. Ooh. Oh, yum. Have you had that before? Yeah. No, of course. That's have you? Good. Really? Look at what they put on here. They put, they put Lindsay special. I did? Damn right she is. Nine inch shrimp pesto pizza and Southwest pasta. Let's try this out. This looks good. Have you had that one before? No. Oh my God. Can you have me water? Thank you. Oh yeah. Let's try this pizza because I for sure have never had this before. This is kind of like a really long mukbang, but I'm loving it. Oh, wow. Mom. Oh, that's amazing. This is good. Yeah. Shrimp pesto pizza. That's good. I've had it before. It's so good. The mm -hmm. pasta? Mm-hmm. Dad, you're moving on to pizza? Not yet. Not yet. That's for a snack. That's a midnight snack. This is amazing. Mmm. Let me see the pizza. Let me show them the pizza. Ooh. Oh my god. Imagine this just like falls over. I'll beat you up. You guys, you gotta support your local businesses and you gotta support your family businesses. And you gotta support my family business. So if you guys live by Charlie's Trio, go check them out. But if you live in Alhambra, then you go to the cafe or 38 degrees, or you can go to Monrovia. There's also 38 degrees there too. So I'm full. We're gonna watch Lady Gaga sing right now. So let's go do that. All right guys, so it is like two days later and we kind of made a trip. We kind of busted a mission for this place because there is one in Whittier, but they're closed Mondays and Tuesdays and today's Tuesday. So 
at the clothes. We're in Artesia? Mm -hmm. Artesia? Artesia. Artesia. I think so. It's by, where did I say it was by? Cerritos. Cerritos. Cerritos Ice This place looks amazing. It is called Belly Bombs. It is a Korean inspired kitchen. Apparently they were first a like food truck and then they opened up in, I think they opened up here and then they opened up one in Whittier. But they were gonna get like two things. Mm -hmm. And share them? Yeah. Hi, can we go take a order? Sure, we're taking um, firecracker is our most popular. It's like a sweet and spicy. Or we have like a really buttery buffalo sauce. It's really good. Can I get a 10 piece of the, you said it was firecracker? Yep. Uh, I would say the firecracker pork bowl is the best. I'll do that one, the, the firecracker, the bowl. So I got the fries, the bone in wings, and the firecracker. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this smells so good, doesn't it? So good, yeah. Mom. I feel like, um, oh, it's Joe. <laughs> yeah. I really do. Bomb dust fries. Oh. Oh. They're good. These are amazing. Oh, these are dangerous. I eat this whole thing right now. I have concluded that family-owned restaurants are superior. They taste a little... Sweet. Mm-hmm. They're sweet, but a little bit of spice. They taste like barbecue-y. A little bit. How you know a place is good is their ranch. Oh, I was asked, I was thinking, like, if they had ranch, it'd be perfect. Our ranch is so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna get my phone out for this. Oh, so this is the firecracker rice bowl. Are you kidding? Are you joking? You're lying to me. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Your face. I think I'm tearing up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Can I get some? What? Can I get some? What did you say? Can I get some, Lindsay? Can I hear you? Oh wow. Oh my god. I know. This is amazing. <laughs> no, like this is, this is crazy. Wow. I think this is one of the best places I've ever been to. Yeah. You got the rice with like this, like this sauce on the pork belly that's like sweet and spicy and just like amazing. It does have a little bit of a kick to it. The slaw that's like sweet, so it's like really nice, like balances it out. The fried onions add a little bit of crunch to it. We got the firecracker wings. Firecracker wings. So it's supposed to be like sweet and salty. Well, I'm going straight in. Oh my god. Oh. My. Gosh. I don't have any words. I'd like to thank not only God, but Jesus for this award. This is not okay. I'm not okay, but I'm also the best I've ever been. What was your favorite thing? Say the fries. Guys, bomb. If yeah. I was gonna come again, I would probably get the bowl because it kind of has like everything. The bowl and the fries are honestly like unlike anything I've had. Yep. This place is a gem, is a must have, must, must try, have. must go to. I guess we're done here, folks. This was honestly, I think this was like my favorite video I filmed <laughs> on my channel because every single place was 10 out of 10, amazing must have must try totally recommend do i have anything in my teeth no <laughs> we're good like i said before this video has honestly concluded and like solidified the fact that <laughs> family owned restaurants and businesses and coffee shops all of the above are superior mm -hmm. They just really are. They yeah. just know what they're doing. They care about the customers. They work for the people. Yeah. Because they are the people. 
you know what I mean. If you guys liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below anything you would like. Comment down below if you guys want a part two to this so we can try out some more places. Don't forget to follow Ethan and I on all of our social medias. Don't forget to go listen to my podcast that is on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, The Ladies with Lindsay Ray. Go check that out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.